How does a 5'10 normal son of a Barbara and a Norman put to the test in a forgotten spot? In the inland northwest, come up to be a coaching great, one of the best. First he ran to Spokane, a graduate assistant tan man with a plan, had a job in line, and it was his to poach. He loves the Zags hooping team, thinks he's gonna coach. He inherited the team, but he faced a lot of hate. How you gonna get GU back to the Elite Eight? Is this the team's death knoll? Is this the Zags hearse? How about 21 straight years, 21 straight births? Well, the words got around, they say the sky is insane, man. Never seen another coach who knew how to game plan. The man's gained respect, ain't forgotten once he came. Everybody now knows his name. What's, What's your name, name, man? Mark Norman Few. My name is Mark Norman Few, and as you can clearly see, everybody calls me Daddy in the WCC. From the Logan to West Central, the addition of Brown. I'm the Prince of Spokane, yo, I'll wear this town's crown. The job's mine for life, living free without rent. I will make a student spend their whole night in a tent. Y'all said we're overranked, that we're always a bore. But that's before Matthews, Collins, Goss, and the final four. I'm better than Tom Izzo, Bill Self, and Frank Hate. I'm anointed by Pope Francis with my Jesuit faith. Now we're back with a vengeance, yo, sound the alarm. The big ballers are back with intent to do harm. The candle's getting ready as we juice up the stats. Number one team, says sports writer Andy Katz. We got Dom Strother, Marty, and some white guys who shoot threes. Jalen Suggs, he's got rocket booster strapped to his knees. Joel, Anton, Aaron, Andrew, Namby, and the 1,200 students who get in for free. Kind of. Malie and Baller, Ballo, you can call him Baby Shaq. Corey Kispert drains threes, Timmy takes it to the rack. Final fours in Indy, and I think we can with the top ranked class and the French slender man. Mark Norman Few, 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 Mark Mark Norman Few. Ah, and there it is. I told you before the break that it was worth hanging around just for that. That was. Uh, done by one of our talented editors, Cohen Jenkins. And uh, uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that, Will? Oh, it just showcases Cohen's talent, JC. Yeah. Love to see it. Love to see him in a starring role. We need Cohen on the show, I right? think. Right? And and we saw him in a suit, too. Saw him today. He was wearing yeah. basketball shorts celebrating that Gonzaga win. Cohen, an underrated basketball player himself, by the way. Uh, Fun uh, fact for apparently you. Apparently, he was hooping with R.J. Williams the other day. So, <laughs> yeah. Hey, we, we talk about his alma mater, though. One of the best games uh, that we can remember from the NCAA tournament in recent history. Uh, last night, uh, Jalen Suggs hits an incredible half-court shot to send Gonzaga back to the NCAA championship game for the second time in their uh, program's history, the first time since 2017. Th this had everybody uh, going crazy on social media last night, Will. Oh, JT, what a fantastic basketball game. The type of finish that we will see on the one shining moment montages mm -hmm. for the next century. Uh, couldn't ask for more. UCLA was down one at halftime and I felt like Gonzaga was going to roll away with things in the second half but to the luck of all of us mm -hmm. we saw a fantastic game last night and it certainly lived up billing yeah. oh I just hope Monday night is just the same yeah agreed um that was a one shining moment by the way for Jalen Suggs who rocks the, the number one I, I gotta say for every celebration for every moment that we saw of Suggs standing on the table somewhere tucked away in a tunnel are, are probably some tears UCLA had an incredible run your, your heart kind of breaks that it finally ends for them yeah absolutely uh, bummer did not be able to see Johnny Juzang mm -hmm. in the national title game because his effort all throughout the tournament was phenomenal just kind of put him on his shoulders got some help from obviously a lot of players but 
Oh, man, what a fun battle last night. Yeah, 137 points this NCAA tournament. Uh, the third most by an individual player in an individual NCAA tournament over the last 11 years. He was phenomenal. Uh, Will, we get the matchup that we all wanted. It was canceled earlier this year because of COVID, but now the, these two powerhouses collide. Gonzaga versus Baylor. Who do you have tomorrow night winning this thing? Rooting for just a fantastic game. Mm -hmm. uh, no dog in the fight, obviously. Go Cyclones. Um, but root for Mark Few. He seems like such an easy guy to root for. Um, trying to get Gonzaga their first ever national championship. I'll side with Mark Few and the Zags. I just hope it's a great game, though. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Without a dog in the fight, despite the fact there are some dogs in the fight, um, I, I, I just want a good game. I want to be entertained tomorrow night. I will say this, though. Picked Baylor in my bracket. The only reason why I did that is I figured Ooh. everybody was going to pick Gonzaga. So I want to cash in at the end of this thing, Will. I'm, I'm going to go with Baylor tomorrow. Hopefully they can replicate that performance they had against Houston because they were phenomenal uh, yesterday, shooting the lights out of it. Um, we'll see if they can get it done. Plus, I think if the game comes down to a key moment where a team needs a defensive stop, I just like Baylor's ability over Gonzaga maybe to get that yeah. defensive stop. Uh, I, I just don't love the fact that it's against Gonzaga's offense because they're just incredible. So we'll see, though. But, yeah, ho hopefully for a good game. We'll appreciate it, man. Thanks, JT. All right, more to come after the break.